Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, Brandy B here. Today, I just really wanted to show you guys how I blow dry, straighten my hair, pink curl it, well curl it and pink curl it. So, um, yeah, if you want to see how this turns out, then stay tuned. So for products, I'm first going to use the Garnier Fruit Teas. This is a heat protectant for like flat irons basically, but it's for the hair as well. <laughs> um, I'm going to use the Suave Moroccan Oil. Um, and I'm also going to use the Olive Oil uh, Heat Protectant Serum. I'm using two serums because I'm just extra. <laughs> I don't want to cause any more heat damage on my head. So <laughs> I'm just doing the most um here I, i'm just really showing you that i didn't use a lot of oil um this oil is really good i use only one pump of both um so the oils that i am using they're not heavy they give you you know good moisture it's just really light on the hair here i'm just blow drying my hair um there's no specific way that i'm doing this um if you want you can section it off and you know do it like that but this is me and <laughs> this is just my quick the quick way that I do it okay so this is the finished look of the blow dry um, I got it as straight as possible I could with that blow dryer so I won't have to do you know press my hair out but here I am pressing on my edges because you know you can't get the, the blow dryer to get your, <laughs> your kitchen clean so I gotta make sure my kitchen is as clean as possible. <laughs> Alright, so um, this is the part where I'm actually going to straighten my hair with the flat iron. So right here, I'm just sectioning off the back of my hair. Um, I split that into two so, you know, I can get my hair as straight as possible. I'm going section by section, <laughs> row by row. And yeah, I'm going to use some um, regular flat irons from the beauty supply store. And I'm using, I'm, I'm doing the chase method with it. Um, the flat irons, I don't know the temperature that it was set for. I know I didn't have it on the highest setting though. Because like I said, I'm trying to minimize as much as heat damage as possible with my hair. So, um, yeah, I'm just taking it section by section like I said. And I'm just going to shut up so you guys can just see how I do that. Okay, so it is now as straight as possible <laughs> that I could get it. Um, next, I'm just going to show you how I curl the hair. So, um, I'm going to take even bigger sections for this part because the curls that I'm adding, I really just want it to be like a feathered look. 
the end results will be curls because I pin curled it, but you know, when I once I wrap it and it falls, it's gonna look feathered. Um, so right here I'm curling it. Um, there's no specific way. I'm just, you know, making sure that the curls are going inward though. So I guess that would be the specific way. <laughs> but I am just making sure that the curls go inward. So like I said, it'll give a feathered look once I wrap my hair and I take it down and all that other good stuff. Okay, so I also just want to uh, make a little disclaimer that this is, I'm not telling you guys, you know, to do your hair like this in no way, because I'm not a professional. Um, I'm just really just showing you how I do mine. So this is not a tutorial. <laughs> I just wanted to say that, you know, that this is just how I do my hair and I just wanted to share with you guys how I got my hair like this. Okay, so now that I have secured that last bobby pin, voila. <laughs> um, I'm just going to start taking down all of the uh, bobby pins. Um, I had done my makeup, you know, changed my shirt. So it had got, you know, some time for the curls to be curly as hell. Um, here I'm going to just take that oil and just, you know, finger that through and finger my curls out a little bit because they were just a little too tight um but here i'm just fixing my hair and get it to my liking and yeah i hope you guys enjoy this video i hope you thumbs up like and subscribe and yeah i will see you guys in my next video bye